Hello friends. Today I welcome you all to the online lecture video series of Shri Ram Ayurvedic Medical College and Hospitals. Today's presentation is from the Department of Agartantra, Vidhi Vedya and Vyavhar Ayurveda. Agartantra is a subject of third year BMS and Agartantra consists of only one theory paper and one practical. Theory paper is of 100 marks and practical is of 50 marks. The theory paper is divided into part A and part B. Today's topic is from the part B, that is definition of forensic medicine and medical jurisprudence. So today we will be studying introduction to medical jurisprudence and forensic medicine. Medical jurisprudence. It is the study of legal principles that guide medical personnel means law as applied in the medical practice in our case Ayurveda practice. So it is used in three ways doctor patient relationship, doctor doctor relationship, doctor state relationship. Doctor patient in general what it means honesty secrecy, belief in the doctor treatment, these are some of the points of doctor-patient relationship. Doctor-doctor relationship, they should follow medical etiquettes. A doctor should respect the other doctor. Okay. Now coming to the doctor-state relationship, it means doctor has certain responsibilities towards the state, whether he or she is practicing. This is the medical jurisprudence in short. Now coming to the forensic medicine. Forensic medicine, it is a branch of medicine which deals with the application of medical knowledge for the purpose of law and administration of justice. Medical knowledge applied in law, opposite of medical jurisprudence. So, coming to the branches of forensic medicine, these are forensic pathology, clinical forensic medicine, forensic toxicology, forensic thanatology, forensic odontology, forensic psychiatry, forensic serology, forensic anthropology, forensic anthropology. So, these are some of the branches of forensic medicine. Now, we will see definition of each branch in coming slides. So coming to the branches of forensic medicine, the first branch is the forensic pathology. In the forensic pathology, the knowledge of medicine is used to find out the cause of death by performing autopsies, postmortem examination. The death can be natural, unnatural, suicidal, accidental, homicide. So in this branch, we try to find out the cause of death. Here, it is an example from the postmortem examination room where Investigator asks the forensic expert, what do you have so far? So the forensic expert reverts, we have found water in her lungs. So this can be a typical case of trauma. Coming to the next branch, that is clinical forensic medicine. In this branch, medical examination of sexual offenses like rape is done. Medical legal examination of injuries in physical assaults. Medical legal examination of drunkenness. Assessment of degree of permanent disabilities. This is done in this clinical forensic medicine branch. So coming to the next branch of forensic medicine, that is forensic thanatology. It is a subject that deals with the scientific study of death, types of death, the various events or changes that occur in the cadaver after death and their medical legal significance. So the changes which happen in the cadaver after death that is studied in the forensic thanatology branch of forensic medicine. So these are changes after death, immediate changes, early changes and late changes. Immediate changes are irreversible cessation of function of brain, circulation, respiration. Early changes are primary relaxation of muscle, 
contact pallor, flattening, changes in the eye, algor mortis, liver mortis, rigor mortis. Late changes are putrefication, adipocere formation, mummification. These are the changes which happen after death in the record. And these are studied in the branch of forensic thanatology. Now coming to the next branch of forensic medicine that is forensic odontology. The science dealing with the establishing identity by teeth is known as forensic odontology. In this branch, we establish the identity by the teeth examination or the denture. Coming to the next branch of forensic medicine that is forensic psychiatry. Forensic psychiatry is a subject or branch of medicine dealing with the dealing with the application of knowledge of psychiatry in the administration of justice so here if a person uh, is maniac is is in depressive state and he or she commits a crime so the punishment that will be given will be less compared to the given to the a normal person so in forensic Medicines, these are some of the branches which are told here. Rest branches of forensic medicine will be explained in the next lecture. Now coming to the summarization of lecture, we will study the difference between forensic medicine and medical jurisprudence. Forensic medicine deals with the application of medical and paramedical knowledge to the aid of administration of justice. Medical jurisprudence deals with the application of knowledge of law in the practice of medicine. Forensic medicine is used by the court for the solution of legal problem. Medical jurisprudence is used by the members of medical profession for their guidance, for their practice. Forensic medicine has some subdivisions, some branches which I have told you in the earlier slides. Medical jurisprudence has no subdivisions. Forensic medicine can be applied to all people. Medical jurisprudence is applied to only to medical professions. Forensic medicine brings the medical man in contact with the court of law. And medical jurisprudence brings relationship between doctor and patient, also doctor and society, and doctor, doctor also. Okay. So I hope this lecture will enlighten your mind and will be helpful for all to study forensic medicine and medical jurisprudence. Thank you.